Hey guys, I just want to do a quick unboxing here for you. Uh, I've been looking for a while for a Rebel 1100 um, headlight cowl. Just the small one, not the big bat fairing that you, I've been seeing everywhere, but just the smaller one. And I was looking online and I was only able to, to see the small fairing for like 250 bucks because it comes with the fairing and then also the little attachment piece that uh, goes with it. And I wasn't a huge fan of paying 250 bucks for just that small little piece. So online I looked around for a little bit on Amazon and I found a third party selling a similar part. I believe the party, the third party was called Laura Baber or Laura Baber. I ordered it probably a month ago. It took a month to get here. And I just wanted to do an unboxing for you guys to see what it's like and how it is so you guys can experience it with me. Here we go. Let's see how this looks here. On earth? Why? <laughs> what on earth? Why is there a bunch of tape in here? Dude, this is making me question my decisions here about going cheap. This thing was about a hundred bucks, so it was about half the price what you'd normally uh, spend to get a headlight call. Well, let's look at this. All right, well that's cool. Oh, it kind of comes with instructions for everything. So this is saying all the parts and screws and stuff here. Cool. <laughs> right when I took it out of the box, I opened up the first thing. And it was a bunch of Allen keys, man. Like, who... <laughs> I don't know. Who does that? Who sends a whole full set of it? Allen keys with their stuff. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Nuts, bolts. Like the mounting bracket. Sweet. Alright. This looks like... Yeah, the little windscreen. Alright. Tinted a little bit. I like it. Kind of smoked. And the main piece here. No scratches or anything. Alright, just one plastic piece. Okay. Well, Alright, we'll get rolling on this install here. Alright, we got the bracket on. If you guys can see that, we just put a bolt in there. And in there. And then we have a spacer. And then bolt there. And a bolt there. With the spacer as well. So the kind of second step here is we put the rubber grommets here. In. And then we assembled the cowl. So this will go on. We'll go on like that, and then we'll bolt well then we'll screw it in. And then we'll see how it looks and see how it does with wind. And this is it all completed. Got some red stuff right there. Anyway, we have these black that cover all the screws, these black covers, which makes it really nice down here. But not bad. I like the look of it. There it is. I think it looks sweet. I love it. I just wanted to show you guys that there are other options out there from third-party vendors um, and not just Honda um, because of the Honda one like I said before is 200 to 250 dollars I wasn't willing to spend that and this looks sweet and it was a only hundred bucks so half the price I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to fall out I I'm not affiliated with it or anything it's just to help you guys out and um, I'll give it a ride and see if it does anything to the wind I don't think it will. I'm just doing it more for for the look of the bike. So
All right, so we are testing how this cow does. Low speeds. We are at 30, around 30 miles an hour. I can't tell a difference really at all right now. We are going to go head up to the freeway where we will be reaching speeds around 80 miles an hour. It was really easy to install. It would probably take somebody probably around 10 minutes maybe. It was super easy. The instructions were great. Um, I was actually really impressed with the quality of it. Coming from China and being a third third party vendor, I was expecting it to kind of be lesser quality than, than it was. I was impressed. I have noticed when I was riding this bike before without the cow that I did get a lot of wind in the chest. And I'm in, interested to see if it takes any of that off of the chest at all. Well, around 50 miles an hour right now. And I feel a little bit different actually. Like it's not as much on my I mean, on my chest. It's more like around around like my neck. Like it's hitting me more in the neck than than in the chest. It's kind of windy. I don't know how well you're gonna be hearing me, but around 70, 80 miles an hour. I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling a big difference. I don't think there's any difference at all. It was, it's still pretty. Hit me in the chest a lot. Hit me in the face a lot. So for the cow, if you want it for wind reduction, I don't recommend it. I, I would just get the mini back bat wing. But if you want it for looks and things, awesome. I, I mean, I would get it. I like the looks that it gives. And that's kind of what I was going for anyway, was just the looks. So I would say this uh, third party cow is a success. If you want something that's cheaper and you like the look of it and everything, you're not really caring about the wind performance or anything, I would say get it. It's pretty sweet. Thanks for checking in. See you next time.